Hello, this is Nathan, and in this video, we are going to be replacing the globe liner. As always, the first thing you want to do is power off your little robot open air when you do any maintenance by pressing the power button and removing the power lead. And for the type of maintenance that we're going to be doing, you also want to remove the bonnet. Once you've done that, the first step will be to remove the two little caps that are covering the screws with the flathead screwdriver. With little force, they should easily pop out. You'll find that there's two of these, one on each side of the opening of your globe. Now with a trusty Phillips head screwdriver, you want to remove the two screws that you uncovered removing the caps. When removing your screws, make sure you put them in a safe place for we really cannot afford to lose these screws. There's another two screws on each side of the track that also needs to be removed as well. Around the back of the globe, you will find another four screws that also need to be removed. In total, you should have removed eight screws. Once you've removed all eight screws, you should be able to remove the top half of the globe by lifting from both sides. Just put it in a safe place for now, we'll get back to it later. Now with the top half of the globe removed, you can now start removing the liner by pulling the top corner, removing it from the lip that's on the globe. Continue peeling the liner off the globe till you get to the other side. Then you want to repeat the process by removing the liner off the lip. Once the front of the liner has been freed, you can start removing it from the groove that runs from side to side inside the globe. Pulling the liner away from the globe, you will see the liner come away from its groove. Once you remove the liner from the groove, do not attempt to try to pull it out for it's still held in place by a nut and bolt. Looking at the front of the globe again, you should find a plastic screw. You should only need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove it. Once removed, look inside and you should find a plastic nut. Now the screw and bolt is removed, you can now freely lift the liner out of the globe. With your new liner, check to see if the weight is in place. It should be located in the bottom center of the liner. If yours is missing, check the packaging it was shipped in. You will need to recover it and put it back in its place. Now you want to place the new liner in the globe, making sure that the rubber lip of the liner is facing the front. For me, I have found it's easier to start with the lip at the front and work your way around. Getting the liner to sit in the plastic groove can be a bit difficult at times. Just take your time and it will sit in there. Now you want to find the rubber strip located on the top edge of the liner and feed it into the plastic groove on the globe. Now the line is in the plastic groove, we can finish the lip on the other side on the front of the globe. Now for the plastic nut and bolt. 
screw only the bolt into the globe, lining up the hole that's on the liner and push the bolt through the hole on the liner. This will make it easier screwing the nut onto the bolt. Don't do the nut up too tight for it is only plastic and you don't want to damage the liner. Now it's time for the top part of the globe to be put back on, making sure that the lip of the top part of the globe is sitting over the liner on the inside of the bottom part of the globe. It should look like this when they're sitting together correctly. Now it's time for the eight screws that we removed earlier. Screw them all back in. You can do this in any order you wish. As always, when working on the Little Robot 3 Open Air, always remember that you're screwing metal screws into plastic. Now you want to push the screw covers back in to cover the screws in front of the globe. Once you've put all your screws back in, you want to put the bonnet back on, plug in your power lead and turn it on. We hope this video gives you confidence so you can do it yourself. If you'd like to know more about the Little Robot 3, we have a number of helpful videos for you to check out. From everyone at Cat Evolution, stay safe, scoop free, and thank you for watching.